Have you ever faced like your games run pretty well at the first moment for like 5 to 10 minutes and after that it starts lagging and you know that your computer is powerful enough for a game and it is not being it is run running in full 100% so that's then that's why you are in the right place hi guys this is vibro from tech Tweak team and so today i'll be showing you how you can just fix your computer or your laptop uh, when it is facing thermal throttling so what thermal throttling is that whenever you're playing the game at first it runs pretty awesome and when after five or ten minutes when the temperature of your processor rises it just rises so much that you're not able to control it and so the processor has to under volt underclock itself so that the heat doesn't get too much out of control so this only happens when your laptop doesn't have proper cooling or yeah most of our laptop doesn't have proper cooling so in this video I'll be showing you how you can fix it so for this you'll be just needing a free tool that you can download from the link in the description which is known as throttle stop it's a free tool you can go ahead and just download it so before that I'll show you that my specification of my system my system isn't a powerful or power hungry beast it just got a 940mx 2GB graphics chipset along with it is a UHD graphics 620 I have a 500GB M.2 SATA SSD 1TB of normal hard drive 8GB of 2400MHz RAM and a Intel Core i5 8250U series processor so it's quite powerful enough for playing games like Grand Theft Auto V Counter-Strike Global Offensive and few titles of Call of Duty and games like Assassin's Creed 2, etc, etc. And for me, whenever I was playing those kind of games, I was facing so much lag and so much trouble throttling. My whole laptop was just getting warmed up so much and I'm not getting consistent performance. But after this process, I was getting consistent performance. Let me close this thing up and let me open up Throttle Stop. So this is how the throw stop looks like and these are the settings that you need to uh, keep it in mind and just make sure you have the settings as well. So first thing that we're going to do is that undervolt our CPU. If you don't know what undervolting is, undervolting is nothing but just decreasing the frequency or the voltage that is supplied to your processor. The, you might think that providing less power is equal to less performance but that's not the case you're providing less power but you get the same performance because if you're providing less power the processor will get heated up less and so better performance make sure you just turn on this dialog that is okay save voltages immediately and make sure you go to cpu core and just hit unlock adjustable voltage and after that just offset voltage set it to minus 100 millivolts no matter what pr processor you have 100 my negative 100 millivolts is the sweet spot for most of your laptop and desktop processors for me it works in 102.5 millivolts for you might be different but 100 millivolts is the safest side make sure you put the same value in cpu cache as well and an in intel gpu as well and hit ok and once you're done that, make sure your computer runs really well. If it is not stable, just your computer will reboot once and then everything will be fine. That's you don't need to be getting any panic. You don't need to panic. And the next step that I'm going to show you is for extreme users. You are still getting, uh, not getting the performance that you're desiring. And after this process, until now that I said, uh, your performance will increase like 30 to 40% than before. But if you still see that the game is lagging after half an hour or so, then now the main process starts. Just disable turbo. That's it. For you, it might be different if you're playing a AAA title. You can just try this method and just trying to play the game. But for me, as I play Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Grand Theft Auto V, disabling turbo, what does it mean? That it just restricts the performance of your CPU to only the base clock of it. That is my base clock of my CPU, which is 1.6 GHz, and it's a quad core, so 1.6 GHz in all the four cores playing games hasn't been a problem for me. I'm using it, and after turning this thing on, my oh my, the performance of my whole laptop got increased, and I can play the games for hours and hours. 
So this is a quick tutorial that will show you how you can just increase the performance of your gameplay after like playing it for like 10 20 minutes if you're facing lag so this is the small tool that can just fix it and just makes your whole gameplay better this is fibro signing out have a great day and if you got any queries you know how to reach me down in the comment box below and that's it god bless you all thank you